Hey guys, what's going on? It is Narvin here, and I have another solo ascension challenge here. This one is going to be using just the PH flopper. As you saw me, I got to it by round 3. I figured out you only need 5,000 points to get to it. So, you should be able to get to it by at least round 4. If you can't get to it by then, then you're doing something wrong. Uh, but... I've met, I've gotten to the point where I can get it to round three almost every try, and I can already tell you this this challenge is a bit of a pain in the ass <laughs> for the simple reason that the flopper doesn't seem to always want to work, and there it seems to have a lot of flaws. Like I know one, if you get caught on this handrail, like it won't go off sometimes. I've hit this thing before, and like I landed on a zombie, it didn't go off. Uh, you have to know exactly how high you can even jump off. There's certain spots where I've jumped off before and it's worked, and then I jumped off the same spot again and it didn't work at all. I guess it just wasn't high enough, I don't know. It doesn't, doesn't seem to make sense to me. That's, that's all I'm saying. But, basically, you this is probably the best set of stairs to really... See, look at that. Why didn't it go off that time? I don't. I don't understand. Can somebody explain to me why my that it didn't work that time? I would love to know. Cause I clearly dove off the top of this set of stairs, which would should be plenty fucking high enough for the PH five. Like it does have a recharge time on it. I don't know. I don't know about these things. I guess I should have researched it a little more before I decided to do this challenge. <laughs> Whoops. But basically, for the start, I'm going to be running around this in the standard room, of course. Oh, what am I doing down here already? I came down here too early. Let's see if this one works. See, there's like certain spots I've figured out you can jump off of. And it does work. But, like, I'll probably dive off this again and it won't work. So one of the things you want to make sure about if you're trying this is make sure you have plenty of room to get back out. Like, don't dive into a horde of zombies hoping that your flopper is definitely going to kill them all because if it doesn't, then you're fucked. You are screwed and there's nothing you can do. Wish I would have got Jug as my first perk, but this is kind of nice. Because I need at least, I think it's 32.50 to get the jug from here. Which I can only do using the flopper. Oh, I shouldn't be doing it up here. I don't like using that one, but I don't know why I just did. I just want to show you, there's a lot of spots where you can actually do it from. But, as you already saw, jumping off the top of the set of stairs right here doesn't always work. Circle them and them up. So this challenge is a lot about gathering them up. So you're you're gonna be doing this a lot. There's not much you can do about that. Boom! Just just fucking them up with the floppers. It's fun, except for the fact that it doesn't always work. Therefore making it not fun. So I can't get, if I can avoid it, I can't get the death machine. Um, simply because that would be kind of negating the flapper only thing. Uh, I guess you can use the centrifuge if you're running around the first room and that's what you're doing, but... I don't know, I think that's a little cheap, seeing that you're supposed to be using just the flopper. So I should probably get Jug, but in the same thing, I don't really, I kind of wanted to see if I could get Jug using the monkey perk, because if you can get that, 
then you don't have to defend Jug from the monkeys. Because you have to defend Flopper pretty much by all costs in this challenge. There's, or else you're not going to be able to kill anything. So I want to use the Flopper to actually gain access to all of the perks by just defending that. And of course, it gives me Quick Revive, the one perk that the monkeys can get to. And you're probably sitting there, well, Quick Revive will revive you if you go down. I don't plan on going down. Though I probably will. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Yes, you can use the nukes. I see no reason why you shouldn't be able to use them. Um, it's not like you're picking up a gun. Like The, the only reason I say no, I'm Death Machine is, I mean, I guess all drops should be allowed. But, that just, in my opinion, it just seems like that's just cheating. I guess the nuke's kind of the same thing. <laughs> now that I'm sitting here thinking about it. But, since I already got a couple nukes, I'm going to continue to get them. Because that's what I do. I do stuff like that. I don't care. It's my challenge, I decided. I'm not doing anybody else's. I didn't see this on anybody else's channels yet, so... Don't you double swipe me. So, yeah. Basically, I'm going to be running in here, trying to hopefully get through these rounds, and hopefully I'll get Jug <laughs> on the next monkey round, because if I don't, I'm definitely going to have to go buy it. And I'm probably going to go down before that, if I'm not extremely careful. Alright, so i got to pull these guys as far as I can over into this corner, basically. And i got to sprint over this set of stairs. And dive. Now, if you don't do that, they'll end up gathering all right here. And you'll dive on top of them, and you won't actually kill them. Which is a pain in the ass. See, I thought I wasn't actually going to set it off because I hit that thing that time. Um, Alright, let's see if I can get this one last guy. Boom. Oh, max ammo. Hooray. Just what I needed, a max ammo. Alright, round nine. Alright, monkeys. I hope they all just decide to come right at me. <laughs> That's what uh, she said, of course. Because they're going to take my very quick revive. I'm already feeling that. Yep, there he goes. See? No. Don't take it. No, monkey, no. Back off, monkey. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Zombie, I missed them. Oh, they're stealing my thing. See, now I gotta buy it back to even use it, which is a pain in the ass. I'm just gonna let them take my quick revive, to be honest with you. Get out the door, get out the door. Because my hope is... Ah, uh, stupid monkeys. Well, I wish it really, like, all the perks it had to could give me, it gives me stupid quick revive. Just gonna end up getting stolen from me like as soon as I get over there. Because I can't even dive of anything really. Oh, I saved it! <laughs> That's pretty badass. I did not think I was gonna make that. <laughs> See, I really should buy Jug. But I just feel like they're just gonna. I should have let him take it, to be honest with you. Oh, I should have bought Jug. I should have done it. Oh, this is gonna be so, such a pain. Well, this area is 
apparently the super safe area, so I can probably run it without it. I mean, I didn't make it to 23 without buying any perks, so I should be able to get through this round. Oh, shiznit! Oh my god, oh my gosh. That was scary. Stop coming out that door. Damn. Nobody wants you over there. Trust me. It's Ow. I didn't even see him. Don't, don't double swipe me. Don't double swipe me. No double swiping. Thought for sure I was gonna die. Every time I dive off that, I'm like, I'm gonna die. I am going to die. I'm not gonna live. It's not gonna work. And the zombies are gonna just kill me. So basically, that's my strategy: is to run around this thing, <laughs> hopefully make it through. Ah, I should just go buy jug at this point. doing it. I'm doing it. Doing it from the top, too. Usually I would go from the, the bottom. See, I'm, there's like a 95% chance I'm going to lose that perk, though. That's the thing. Of course, if I can survive... It's gonna be a whole lot easier anyway.